Hi, this is Dave Mast. I'm joined in studio today by Joseph Mast of Real Estate Showcase. Joseph, welcome to the show. Thanks. For, good to be here. Well, Joseph has uh, recently taken on some additional um, some additional things that he, he didn't have prior to this. He's been well known for his auctioneering. And in 2011, tell us a little bit about the award that you won going back a couple of years. All right. Uh, 2011, uh, it was awarded the International Auctioneers Championship. Um, so it was a national award that was given and uh, it's, it's it's given me a lot of uh, given me a lot of opportunities since then and it really did op kind of open the doors to what you're doing now kind of branching out into a new area for you right uh, if you haven't seen the commercial yet for Geico Joseph has been involved in a, in a hot new commercial for Geico where he's a uh, an auctioneer a little bit out of his element tell yeah. us a little bit about what the commercial consists of well it's it's basically their uh, did you know uh, series and it's about a a, cut, a guy that's uh, an auctioneer, and they cut to uh, they cut to him, and he's supposed to be bad at being a store clerk, <laughs> and I think I do a pretty good job of being bad at that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you haven't seen the commercial yet, here's kind of what it's going to look like. So it's already aired on television, and it's out there. So here's the commercial. Hmm. Fifteen minutes could save you fifteen percent or more on car insurance. Everybody knows that, Parker. Wow. Did you know auctioneers make bad grocery store clerks? It'll be $23.50. Now $75, $23.75. Hold them, hey, they get down $23.75. $24, hey, $24, dollar, 24 and a quarter, quarter. Now half, 24 and a half and 75 and 25. Now a quarter, hey, 26 and a quarter. Hold them, hey, they get down 20. You want to do it? Five and a quarter. Sold to the man in a khaki jacket. Geico. 15 minutes could save you. Well, you know. All right, so there you see Joseph Mast, the auctioneer who obviously going to struggle to be that uh, that clerk at the, the, at the grocery, grocery store. store. Yeah. All right. Well, tell us about the experience, Joseph, because obviously uh, this is new to you. And take us through the process of how you got to be in the Geico commercial. Well, they they uh, they had this idea of doing a uh, a spot with an auctioneer, and you know auctions in general right now across the country seem to be fairly hot. Uh, with uh, with all the different reality TV shows, so they figured they'd play on that, and and Geico's got a you know they're goofy about their commercials, so they thought it might work. So they uh, they were doing casting calls for the different spots in this, and couldn't quite find the the right fit for an auctioneer. So they were actually using my YouTube video for these different spots, and finally the director just said, well, why don't we just contact this guy? So, so they were using your YouTube video that you have from Real Estate Showcase yeah. to kind of figure out what they wanted for this role. Right. And then right. the director said, where's this guy? At? Yeah, yeah. So they called me and uh, they, uh, they, wanted to, they wanted to see if it, it might work for me. And I was, I was pretty skeptical at first. <laughs> you get a lot of, you, I've gotten a lot of opportunities to do different commercials and that sort of thing. But um, you want to make sure it's right, you know. Right. And, and uh, so this one, it sounded like it might fit. I enjoy their ads uh, in general, so um, so I went for it, and uh, it looking like it's turning out okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, indeed. Um, originally, they were looking for a much older gentleman to play right. this role, were they not? And yeah. one kind of more built in the traditional auctioneer with cowboy hat sense. Right, right. The the initial uh, script that they sent me uh, had me in a ten gallon hat, a, a brown leisure suit, and uh, you know all the stereotypical things that you would think about when you think of an auctioneer. Things that you are not. Yeah, correct. Right. You know, I'm used to wearing a bow tie and a suit usually for my different auctions, and so once we kind of got through that process, that I didn't want to really portray that, then then I knew we could put something together. Yeah. And uh, so it just went from there, and the the director was great to work with. He let me kind of just you know, ad lib and, and kind of be natural about it. So yeah, it worked out well. So you get out there, and this was filmed where? In LA. In LA, so you get out to LA, and this is not your typical, you know, five people in a grocery store. There is a lot going on here. Right. Behind the scenes, uh, talk a little bit about that and about that experience of all of this basically Hollywood style right. come crashing in on you here. Yeah, it was a it was a big adjustment going from uh, Holmes County, Ohio, <laughs> to uh, flying into Los Angeles and and, uh, and being treated like that. But it was great. There's uh, there's a lot of people involved just in the shoot in general. Um, there's a specialist for everything. I, I swear they had a specialist to plug and unplug, you know, the uh, the lines. 
Um, so it took a lot of people to put this thing together, and it was really interesting to see them all come together and and uh, and work together to to get the right angles and that sort of thing. So um, I I never in a million years thought it took that much yeah. work to put together a spot. A thirty second spot took over six hours of yeah. shooting. So you guys filmed this thing, and you told me earlier that you kind of knew this was going to be something big when you got done with the filming and I guess the place just kind of erupted? You're right. So because I didn't have that stereotypical look to me, they shut down part of the, uh, of the store. So people knew that there was a shoot going on because of all the trucks parked outside and all the lights and cameras. So they didn't know what it was about. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there were a lot of people standing around watching what we were doing. And right when I went into my auction chant, you know, everybody just kind of stopped and, you know, looked over at us. And when we were done with it, the initial reaction was laughing and cheering. And, and it was almost like, uh, I think the director even probably thought, hey, we might have something here. <laughs> uh, so we kind of caught everybody off guard. Now, this thing, they had sent you a copy of this, which you could go ahead and post on Facebook or your right. website or wherever you wanted to post it. Right. Um, talk a little bit about that what transpired there because I think that even took you by surprise right. uh, to see it kind of catch fire like it did. Well, the Martin Agency is, is the agency that actually filmed the, uh, filmed the commercial. And so they were really good about kind of keeping me abreast of when it was going to come out and, and those sort of things. And so they sent me a, a link to, the, uh, for, to put on my Facebook. And uh, I, I, just, I didn't even post a comment. I just posted the link and it was maybe two days before Christmas, and I think it's got you know over twenty five thousand hits. I mean, it just exploded on my Facebook. I never you know dreamed of it, and and it hadn't even hit the airwaves. And then yesterday uh, was actually when it when it started hitting the the national market. So yeah, it it, it jumped off my my Facebook like I never dreamed it would. Now. Obviously, you enjoyed this. I mean, right. you can tell just by talking right. to you that this has been a good experience. Oh for you. yeah. Is this something that uh, has might have the capability of moving into another arena? I mean, is this something that you might explore later down the road? Well, it might give me a great opportunity to work at a local IGA. There you go. Uh, <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah. certainly can Always keep double duty there with open, your auction. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I'm kind of of the philosophy that we'll see where it leads, but, you know, I think uh, I look at it, it's just one one opportunity that I got from enjoying the work I do in the auction business. Yeah. And, uh, you know, continuing to grow our local auction company and, and our contract business across the country, you know, I think is just going to give us more and more of these opportunities. Um, so I don't, I don't necessarily think I'm going to get into the acting business. Uh, I think I'll stick with what I'm good at. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You're pretty good at bagging groceries. <laughs> yeah. I, when you, uh, after you get done auctioning and slam the thing down, and, yeah. and, and all of a sudden you're just back to bagging groceries. So right. obviously, if the whole auctioneer thing fails, you can always fall back. On That's that. right. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, Joseph, thanks for joining us. We appreciate you being here. Yeah, for sure. So if you haven't seen the commercial in live, it aired, well, Joseph saw it first time in the Eagles and Cowboys game on Sunday night yep, football. So that's right. It's out there and around, so make sure you check it out. And if you want to see Joseph in action at the, at the auction block, you can see him for real at the Real Estate Showcase website. Why don't you go ahead that's and right. tell us what that is? Uh, real Estate Showcase is our local auction company. It's uh, reshowcase.com. All right. I'm Dave Mass, the Bargain Hunter. Thanks for joining us.